Good morning once again. My name is Biodu Shegu, pastor of Treasure House of God, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Hemel Hempstead. And uh, we're reflecting from the Open Heavens Devotional today. Our topic is curses. And our Bible passage is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verses 18 to 21. Your covenant with death will be annulled, and your agreement with Sheol will not stand. When the overflowing scourge passes through, then you will be trampled down by it. As often as it goes out, it will take you. For morning by morning, it will pass over. And by day and by night, it will be a terror just to understand the report. For the bed is too short to stretch out on, and the covering so narrow that no one can wrap itself, himself in it. For the Lord will rise up as at Mount Parazin. He will be angry as in the valley of Gibeon that he may do his work, his awesome work, and bring to pass his heart, his unusual heart. Our memory verse is taken from the book of John, chapter 3, verse 18. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Reflections. Every curse operating in your life shall be broken today in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says we should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil, lest it take advantage of us. That is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. A general overseer pastor, Adeboe, narrated the story of the deliverance of his family from the curse that was preventing women who gave birth in the family from eating anything that had salt or oil within a particular period. The curse lasted until Pastor Adeboe gave his life to Christ and the curse was broken. I pray that through you, every curse that exists in your generation will be broken from today in the name of Jesus. Whatever is limiting your family from moving forward, we break it today in the name of Jesus. Unfortunately, there are some curses that follow people as a result of efforts of parents to protect their children. Out of ignorance, some parents would have tried to make some incisions or make some covenants with intention of protecting the children from enemies or those who might want to harm them. Unfortunately, those covenants will be working against these children until God intervenes to break the covenant. The children will continue to suffer from one mishap to another. Listen, that cycle is broken today in the name of Jesus. We introduce the fire of God into your family, into your generation, in the name of Jesus. And a quick work will be done by the Most High God on your behalf. Pastor mentioned the case of a family with four girls in the Open Heavens Daily Guide today. When the girls were young, they were all dedicated to a particular oracle in Africa, a country, Nigeria. And as a result, when they were old enough to be married, no one was able to marry them because they have been married off to a deity. When they were brought for prayers, the Holy Spirit identified that because they were dedicated to the oracle, the Spirit has cast a spell on them so that no one would be able to marry them. The satanic hold over them was break, broken and they all got married happily ever after and thereafter. Listen, if that is your case, we break that hold on you today in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 28, 18 said, we come to pass in your life. The Lord will do a quick work. In the name of Jesus, it will do an unusual heart in your life in Jesus' name. And we declare that your covenant with death will be annulled. And your agreement with hell will not stand. So renounce every covenant you have with the devil today. And they will not stand in the name of Jesus. Every curse operating in your family is broken from today in the name of Jesus. A prayer. Let's pray. I want you to ask that every curse you have placed on yourself be broken today in the name of Jesus. And may Jehovah King of Glory hear your prayers and do a new thing in your life. And do an unusual act. Have a wonderful day. Receive the blessings of God. God bless you. Bye-bye.